Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to our next snippet, she says as she shuffles the chair across the, the room. And I'm going to use one of my older stamp sets that I absolutely adore. It's called House of Butterflies and it's 573. And I love the fact that it's got this text on here, the circle, the houses. So I think we'll do a couple of snippets with this. Her home is where the heart is, but I just love that you can mix and match so many elements. Right, so. So it's the House of Butterflies and it's 573. And I just think it's such a versatile stamp set. But what we're going to do first off is just to show how you can use just one element when you've got all these stamp sets, all these stamps within a, a stamp set. This is an A6 stamp set, but it's lovely to show how versatile one image is. So we've got a piece of Pink Frog Smooth Card, four by six inches, which as you know, is our standard size for our snippets. This is snippet number 17. So let me just turn that over. Why did I have a piece of card? Oh, well, it's definitely snippet number 17 anyway. I wrote it down, yes. So it's snippet number 17. And we're just going to take our VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm using a bigger acrylic block than I actually need. Because it just means I can flex that stamp, the actual acrylic block, just so that I reach all the areas of the stamp. And you're just going to allow that stamp just to rest on the card, just so that the ink soaks into the card and you just get a better image. Just have a damp cloth ready. And what I want us to do is to create a background. So I want you to cover the whole piece of the four by six inch card with the butterfly image. But what I want you to do is I want you to move it so that you get different parts of the circle just so that you get different. Now I'm only going to do so much of this because I've got one already stamped out because you don't want to see me do the whole thing. So what I want you to do is stamp the whole background with your chosen stamp set. So this I'm using because I just adore the fact that it's got so much detail in there. It's got the text, the butterfly, the circle, the number. But what I want you to do is move that circle around just so that you use different parts of the circle. So just allow that to rest on there and then you can lift. Now I want you to do that all the way down the card and what I want you to do is leave little areas like this. Can you see these little triangular areas and here? So I want you to leave some of them open. So don't think about it too much. It doesn't matter if there's only one area or three areas. Don't think about it too much because that isn't what it's about. I just want you to relax into it. And then what I want you to do, I'm using distress pencils. You can use any water soluble pencils, you know, that are reactive with water. I'm using salvage patina and shaded lilac. You can also use your distress oxide inks. And what I want you to do, I'm only going to do one area and I'll go back to the one I've already done. I want you to add a bit of colour with the salvage patina and then I want you to add a little bit of the shaded lilac. So you're just scribbling a bit of that colour on. You're then going to take your water brush and pick up a little bit of the salvage patina and just blend that out. Just blend that bit of colour out. Don't have too much water on your brush. You can always work a little bit better without not too much water. And then go in with the shaded lilac and then take off the excess. And what I want you to do is just shade these open areas so that you get this. So if you see, I've created the background and then I've just added these shaded out areas with a little bit of colour. So I just want you to add that little bit of colour. And you can go back in as many times as you want just to blend your colour out and just make sure you've got more depth. If you want to add more depth, just go direct to the pen and just bring in a little bit more of that colour. Take off the excess 
and I tend to go in to the colour rather than drag too much of the colour out just so that I keep some of that that light and dark so I'm just going into that and you can just you know sort of lighten it and dark it darken it so I just want you to create that background initially I then want you to take the stamp set again and stamp it once again with your Nocturne ink. Stamping onto Pink Frog Smooth Card. Stamp that once again, just so that you get a beautiful image. And then what I want you to do is, it is best if you can let the Nocturne ink dry or dry that with your heat tool. If you can let it dry, because you do, I mean, it won't smudge because it, it's permanent ink but it's nice if you let it dry before you scribble some of your colour on. And what I want you to do is use the two colours. I'm scribbling the two colours. That's a professional term, scribbling, but that's exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm going to blend those two colours out with the salvage patina. Turn my card. I can't pick it up. And what I'm going to do is go into that and just blend that out just blend the color out turn my card go into it and blend that out then i shall pick up a little bit more water go to the shaded lilac and then just add a little bit more shading with that shaded lilac just around the edge and i want you to repeat that for this that bit of the circle and the butterfly so that you end up with this so that you've got that and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the salvage patina just to the circled number as well again again with that touch of shaded lilac just adding a little touch to that as well so just take off some of that color and you can just blend that out and you can go back in once it's dried a little bit and add more of that colour. Now it's important that if you're going to use a gel pen that you make sure that one your gel pen is working because then you know before you go to your project whether your project is too wet. You need to make sure that it is dry before you add some little touches of white. If you don't it's not going to work because the, the layers below are just too wet. But I want you to add some touches of white as well to your project. Okay. And then I've got a few shavings. I've just sharpened the salvage patina. No, we haven't. Shaded lilac. I've sharpened the shaded lilac onto a bit of my paper. And what I'm going to do is just pick up a few of those shavings, just a few. And then I'm just going to spritz that with water. Just so that I get a little bit of that color in the background. So just add a little bit of the shaded lilac in the background and then dab a little bit. Now I'm not going to dry that with a heat tool but you can, you've got a little bit more time than me, so you can dry with your heat tool. If you want to stop it bowing, just dampen the reverse of your card and then it'll just flatten out. What we're going to do then is we're just going to add a little bit of the black cotton. Just take a little bit of the black cotton. Just going to spread that out a little bit. No, I can't pick that up. There we go. Just spread that out a little bit. And I'm going to add a little touch of dimension. Just don't add too much dimension because don't forget it's going into your journal. Well, yours might not be. You might be creating a card which is absolutely fine if you're creating a card with it. I'm creating 
my snippets. On the same stamp set is the word dream. So I'm going to use that word. Just remove that. Just add the word dream. Again, with my black ink. Got a little bit of card here, which is perfect. With the dream. And then we'll just cut that out. And it's up to you whether you keep it longer or you shorten the text, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to shorten that text. And then I'm just going to add that little, a tiny bit of the pin flare glue just, just to the top of that circle. Let's just place that back. I think I've got a bit of colour just on my, there we go, and we'll definitely do some more with this stamp set, absolutely. But just before we do that, there we go, I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just around the base of the circle, just to add a little bit of shading just just so it's got a little bit of shadow again that's an ink tense pencil i think the color is called china ink and i can pick it direct up from the pencil but don't forget you know with the ink tense pencils don't don't keep your water on the pencil too long i'm then going to add some of those white splatters Now, if you want, just so I always like to give you other alternatives, you can also add the wings behind the circle. So these wings here, you can tuck behind the circle. With the 15 minutes, I don't have time to do cutting out. But what I mean is, let me just grab this. So just take your wing there we go cut out the one part of the wing just cut that out i always like the fact that you can add to the snippets afterwards if you wish so if you want you can add a little bit which i think i'm going to do is the wings just so we need that wing as well so I'm just going to add the wings now if you wanted to you could also add a little floral as well but I don't want all the snippets to be about adding everything under the sun to the project sometimes I just want to use one stamp set and show you how one stamp set can do all the work because I just think it's important that sometimes we see that because you can then see how just how versatile stamps are so you can just add the wings there let me just show you if you wish and then you add a bit of shading but just so you can see that so what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more white, I'll add a little bit of colour to the wings and a little bit of shading. And that will be snippet 17 done, because I'll add the numbers here as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Love to all, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.